Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome to my channel where we get nerdy. Um, I know I have like filmed so many videos the past few days. Um, I did my haul and then I did my TBR for September and now I am doing my August wrap up. So I have the stack of books here and our trusty reading journal. Let's get into it. So, first off, I want to start by saying this month, I have read the most pages I have in the entire year. So, total pages, we are at 2,283 2, pages with an average rating of 4.2 out of 5. So, I'm going to actually do these in the order in which I read them because I kept track of that. So the first book I read this month was Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller, um, which didn't I do a full review of the series already? So you probably know my thoughts on this book if you have watched it. If not, uh, this is the second book in a duology. Uh, the first book is Daughter of the Pirate King uh, we read this for um, the Tabrinko Super Junior prompt for having white on the color for Etok. Um, so, Alosa is, if you took Jack Sparrow, Will Turner, and Kira Knightley's character that I can never remember her name, and like mushed them all together and made her the daughter of pirate and siren royalty. God, my mouth doesn't want to work today. Um, that's what you get. She is a no holds barred type princess. Well, pirate princess. And she's very much a feminist, but she's also wants to help. Um, as many people as she can. She wants to do the best by her society. So I loved this book. Um, Trisha Levenseller did a fantastic job and she's probably now one of the favorite authors. So I would recommend this. I rated it five stars. I know you're gonna like, people are gonna come at me in the comments uh, because of this month, but my rating, my rating criteria for five star is I finished it. I loved it. It's a new favorite. Okay. That's a five star. Then book two I read this month was Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. This is the first book in a duology, at least that I know of a duology, um, about uh, Gumi Young, who is a Gumiho or a nine-tailed fox. Um, and this young man named... Ji Hoon, if I pronounce that correctly, um, who's just a normal boy uh, in their lives get entangled because of events and it's a romant and un romantic and unique read bursting with lush atmosphere according to BuzzRead. Um, it and it also says on the back, inspired by both K-dramas and Korean folklore, Wicked Fox is an enthralling and romantic urban fantasy set in the streets of Seoul. As somebody that watches a lot of K-drama, this oozes K-drama and the cliches and all of that. And I am here for it. Absolutely love the series. I... um looked into the second book in the series and on the 17th the paperback came out and it's already up there it's just a matter of when tbr will let me read it um so loved this five stars um and if you need help with pronunciations or like you're unsure when it comes to books that have foreign words the the audiobook is fantastic. Um, I listened to it I'll, for part of it along with the book so I could get those pronunciations um, because 
first time I saw Dolkibi, I'm like, huh? What? So, yes. Recommend. Loved it. And I... Yep. So, third book I read this month was Chemistry by Jody Lam. Um, rated it four stars. Oh, rated this five stars, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> rated this four stars. It's a short book. It is a hunchback of Notre Dame retelling coming from the perspective of, Prod of Claude Frollo. Um, what I didn't expect, <laughs> it's set in high school. So... I liked the book. I might reread it, hence why it's a four star. Um, it's got the high school cliches of that one kid that the school wants to bully, so they get voted as prom king, prom queen, homecoming king, homecoming queen, that type of thing. And it's to mock them, but them not realize it's mocking them type thing. Um, so think of how in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, um, Quasimodo is the, what is it, the festival fool or whatever, and he is on people's shoulders and brought through the quarter, and it's, think of that. Um, Claude Frollo is, he's still your villain. But at the same time, he's the villain that you kind of like when he's put in this perspective. Obviously not the perspective of the traditional Hunchback of Notre Dame, but this is the kind where you kind of feel for the villain for a bit, if that makes sense. Um, so, four star. Nice, good little debut novel. Uh, book four that I read was... Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. I rated this five star because I loved it. I will wholeheartedly reread it. I did not expect to love it as much as I did. Um, but what happens makes so much sense for the world. And like for the time that like it's a contemporary romance and it makes sense for it to play out the way it did. It's funny. It's cute. You love the characters. You fall in love with them. And I wouldn't say no <laughs> if someone decided to make this into a rom-com. It is that cute. And I absolutely love it. And the descriptions of some of the food in here... Oh my gosh, it will make you salivate. So, five stars, recommend, love it. Yes. Um, the fifth book I read, I do not have because I already unhauled it, if that tells you anything. And that was As Old as Time by, uh, I want to Liz Braswell. Yeah. Uh, I rated it two stars. Which my two star is finished, but would not recommend. Um, first, I didn't like Belle's attitude in this book. I didn't like the inconsistencies in the story. Um, and I can't really say what they are without spoiling it. Um, and it's basically... Disney if you take out magic and for it to be a Disney twisted tale it doesn't really work if you remove the magic um so if Beauty and the Beast is your favorite Disney um story I say go ahead and give it a try but you might be disappointed or you might love it I it feels very it's one of those books that it's going to, I think it'd be very polar on how you feel about it. And for me, I'm the polar of no thank you. Um, so now after reading three Disney Twisted Tales and only liking one of them and two of them being huge letdowns, I'm debating if I'm going to continue them. So 
We will see. Then, last book I read this month. This is where people are going to hate me and come for me. <laughs> These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I didn't rate this five star. I rated this four stars. And if on Goodreads I could give half ratings, it would be probably like a 4.5. I liked the book. I liked the concept. But I don't... It didn't speak to me as a favorite. Um, you can tell that Chloe Gong poured her heart and soul into this novel. And she did a fantastic job. However, it's just not my cup of tea, if that makes sense. Um, and I think it might just be the fact that I don't like Shakespeare. So maybe it's that's the thing, is because it is Romeo Shakespeare, set in 1920s Shanghai. If they left out the bit of Shakespeare... I think I wouldn't have had that bias already in my mind. Like, I tried to go in this completely unbiased, but just something about it I couldn't get over. I know, it probably doesn't make any sense, but I recommend it. Like, highly recommend it to people. It's just not my thing. So, I'm sorry. Don't hate me, but... It just wasn't my thing. It's a beautiful book, though. Um, I love how I went through all of those and didn't say what prompts they were for this month. Um, but, yeah, that's the wrap-up. It's really short, considering how many books are on there. But I didn't want to just bore everyone with it. So, let me know. If you've read any of these books, comment down below what you thought of them. Um... If you want to tell me that I'm wrong and that some of these books are trash that I liked or that they're fantastic and I didn't like them, that's fine. All opinions are valid and accepted. I will have no problem seeing the other perspective. Um, and if you have any suggestions for book, book suggestions, prompt suggestions, punishment, reward suggestions for Dobrinko, uh, anything... Any types of videos you would like to read, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And until next time, remember, you are loved and you are valid.